it's Joe Moyer, founder and creator of GPSforlove.com. Got a quick question for you. Do you find that you keep getting attracted to the wrong guys or that you keep attracting guys who simply don't give you the love that you are looking for? Well, if so, I want you to pay close attention because the first question I'm going to ask you is, do you think it's a coincidence? Do you think that it's just by chance that you always go for a certain guy and you wind up getting your heart broken? Or do you think it just happens to be that it's just your luck that only these kind of guys show up in your life and show interest in you? Well, if so, I want you to just take a look and really ask yourself, is it possible that I may be playing a role in all of this? Now, this isn't meant to point fingers or judge or blame anybody, but it's simply to say, is there something going on beneath the surface here? Because what I find when I work with many of my clients is when we are in situations like this, we ask this magic question, you know, is it possible that there's something that's causing this to happen? Because see, there are two ways of addressing the issue. There's the superficial way, and then there's the deep way. The superficial way is this is when your friends and family come along and say, you know, just get rid of them, you know, you deserve better. And in the back of your mind, you're like, yeah, I know I deserve better. But there's something in you that keeps going towards those guys. It's almost like an emotional drug, right? You just can't help yourself. It's like, you know what? There's just something about them. There's just something that I like. You know, when I'm with them, they make me feel a certain way. And that's why the superficial way never works because this isn't a logical problem. You know, this is why if it's your girlfriend, your cousin, your sister, your coworker, and you see that she's with the wrong guy, it's easier to spot what she should do, right? Yeah, just get rid of him. He's a bomb. It's, you know, he's treating you deserve so much better. But when it's you, it's like, oh, but you don't understand. You know, he's really a good person. He's just misunderstood. You know, he never got the love he wanted as a child. He's just hurt. You know, I know, you know, I know he's going to come around. And you tell all those stories and excuses, not only to everybody else, but to yourself. And the reason for it is because there's a deeper underlying problem. You know, one of the takeaways I hope that you'll get from this video is understanding that 96 to 98% of everything you think, say, or do happens from an unconscious level. See, logically, consciously, you know it's not right. You know it's not working. You know those guys aren't good for you. But unconsciously, emotionally, there's something about them. There's a hook. And it's like, but I can't help myself. And it's not that you can't help yourself. It's that you don't know how to help yourself. Nobody ever showed you how. And that's ultimately the work that you're going to need to do is to understand why this is happening. Now, there's a time in my journey where I was I was in the same position. I was with a woman for three years. We were engaged to get we were engaged, we're supposed to walk down the aisle, and I was miserable. I knew it wasn't the relationship I wanted, but I couldn't get out. And even if I tried to get out, you know, we broke up for a little while, we'd ultimately wind up back in the same spot. And I just couldn't understand it because up until that point, I never put up with crap. But here I was putting up with a whole, you know, truckload full of crap. And everybody around me was like, you know, that's so not you. What's going on? And also that relationship fell apart. And I stepped back and I did what I call mirror time. And I looked at it and I go, what happened? Like, what was this all about? And ultimately I saw and I learned what the real cause was, is that underneath it emotionally, it, it was like a drug for me. And that if I were to leave, it would put me in an area that was going to make me very uncomfortable, make me very uncertain. And it would cause me to possibly not get the love that I wanted. So I was willing to settle. And that's why I created GPS for Love is because this isn't a logical problem. <laughs> it really not. The reason why most of us struggle is because emotionally we never learned what causes us to make unhealthy choices and decisions. So if you want to get to the root cause of your problem, if you want to ultimately find the great man and the great relationship that you're really looking for, you've got to step out and you've got to do some work. Now, you can read all the books you want. You can watch all the blogs. You know, you can do all that. You could hug a tree and sing Kumbaya, and put up vision boards and, and say affirmations. But if there's something unconsciously that is going on for you, you need to find out what that is and you need to address it. So here's a way to discover what may be going on unconsciously. What you do is you step out of your life and you look at what's going on. And especially if you notice some kind of pattern, that's the clue that's going to help you learn where you should focus your energy. So for instance, if you keep finding that you're attracting the wrong guys, that's the clue and you've got to explore that. You know, if you keep finding that, you know, you put up walls 
and you won't allow a guy to get close to you or you run when the guy starts getting close to you, especially those good guys, that's a clue. There's always, always, always a clue. And the clues are designed to help you on your journey. But if you ignore them, you make excuses for them, and you run for them, it's going to be harder to get to the relationship you desire and deserve. So I'd love for you to watch this video again and really step out, do that mirror time, and ask yourself, what's going on? What could possibly be going on in my unconscious mind that would make me pursue a guy like that? Or allow a guy like that to pursue me? And when you do that, I promise you're going to get one step closer to the answer. So I'd love to hear from you. Does this video resonate with you? Do you have a habit of being attracted to those guys or you find that they're attracted to you? you know, after doing your mirror time, what do you discover? What ahas come up for you? Well, when you do that, I want you to go ahead and put those ahas or those observations in the box below. And if you have any questions that pertain to this video, go ahead and put those there below as well. As always, an honor privilege to be with you. I'll see you next time. Much love.